Hello everybody, in today's new video you are going to learn how to introduce yourself in work-based conversations as well as business presentations. I'm also going to talk about cultural differences when greeting people between Japan and Western countries. So first, let's look at the more common situation introducing yourself in a business English conversation. So first, I recommend that you introduce your name, your job title, your responsibilities, as well as the name of your company or the company that you work for. Keep it nice and short and simple. So it should look something like this. Hello, my name is and then you say your name. I'm a, and then you say your job title. At, and then the company's name. Then you finally finish with nice to meet you. So here is an example of me introducing myself. Hello, my name is Moses. I am a teacher at Open A Kaiwa. Nice to meet you. Now, please remember that this kind of introduction is used for talking with people outside of your company, not with new coworkers. So after you introduce yourself to the person you're talking with, they're going to ask you some questions. Now, here are three of the most common types of questions you will be asked after you introduce yourself. Now, the first question that is very common when you're meeting someone for the first time is people will ask you, what do you do at, and then the name of the company you work for. So usually people will already know a little bit about what you do. So for example, I said, I'm a teacher but they may want to know a little bit more about your responsibilities. So to answer this question, you can say, I'm responsible for, and then include the verb plus ing, plus your responsibilities. For example, I'm responsible for teaching English to my students. So in this example, teaching is the verb and my responsibility is to teach my students English. Now the second most common question asked when you're meeting someone for the first time is how long have you been with the company? So to answer this question you can say I've been with and then the name of the company for at how many years or how many months. For example, I've been with Open A Kaiwa for about one year. Now, the third most common question asked when you are meeting someone for the first time is, where are you based in? You can say, I am based in, and then state your location where you work. For example, I am based in Okinawa, Japan. Now, please remember to only use the word I when you are a sole proprietor. So a sole proprietor is someone who owns the company and has no one else working for that company. To put it simply, they're working by themselves. Now to talk about introducing yourself in business presentations. Here, introducing yourself in business presentations is very similar to introducing yourself in conversations for work. However, there are a couple of differences. The first is that people won't ask you questions at the beginning of a presentation. So it's best to say the important information at the beginning of your presentation and make sure that you keep it nice and short and simple. 
say only what is important. The second difference is that some information may not be needed. For example, talking about how long you have been working for a company may not be necessary. Remember, you want to keep it short and simple. So remember the following when introducing yourself in a business presentation. Number one, state your name, your title, as well as your responsibilities and the company's name. Number two, remember to smile, have some great eye contact with your audience and hand gestures using your hands is also an added benefit for your presentation. Now I'm going to talk about differences between Japan and Western countries when it comes to greeting someone when you're meeting them for the first time. So one big difference is Japanese people bow when they greet each other for the first time in formal situations. This is very different from people in Western cultures such as Canada or America where we like to use our hands and do a handshake. So another really big difference between Japan and Western countries is that Japanese exchange their business cards very formally where they hold the business card with two hands when they give the business card as well as when they receive the business card. In Western countries and many other countries around the world, this is usually done a lot less formally and usually only done with one hand and given casually to the other person. So guys, thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, make sure you give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button to see more videos like this one. Do you have a job interview? If you do, and it's in English, check out this video right here where I explain how to answer a very common interview question. Tell me about yourself.